third. Yeah, I, would, I definitely want to try and keep them on two bases right now. Yeah, I feel like if you can if you can do that, then, uh, then I think the uh, the advantage will begin to become more clear. Yep. But this is hard. This is so hard to deal with. Like you're you're really multitasking quite well. Um, you know, I think I would have probably in that situation, you know, had all my stuff in one place at three prong attack, and then I would have gotten hurt twice, and I would have been successful once, and. You know, that doesn't, uh, that's not how you win games. You gotta, you gotta, nope. you gotta, you gotta come out of <laughs> Yep. So, still maintaining good tower control, and with it, you're able to see that this is a pretty scary looking push here with um, a couple tanks and even a Thor. But you're just going right after it. You're not, you're not wasting any time. Nope, I want to catch him while he's on siege. That was a pretty decisive win for, uh, for Zerg. Yeah, I f was feeling pretty good about that, so. Now I feel like it's kind of safe to go ahead and tech to my hive. <laughs> Still working hard to deny that third? Yep, he's working hard to deny my fourth. <laughs> yes, he is. going to get that third down it looks like finally able to chase away those mutas yep and that was at the expense of your fourth so um are you are you behind are you still okay what do you think uh, i think i'm still fine but only because of the sv count that i was able to kill and i'm basically i'm just going to try and hit this expansion before it uh <coughs> gets turns into a planetary fortress basically and if i do that i think i should be successful in killing it Oh, hey, that's not what we were expecting to see at all. Yeah, I think I'm fine. Yeah, oh, these fights are so close. So you came out way ahead there. And there's the GG. Holy smokes! That was a great game. Yeah, that was very good. It kept me on my toes constantly, but I mean. I guess that's why he's a good player, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to, uh, to save that replay if it's okay with you. Yeah, that's fine. Because that was quite nice. Now, what, what, what would you call the, uh, the keys to your success there? Why were you able to win that game? Um, I was able to kind of get the drone count that I need early after, you know, his failed bunker rush. And then... I basically just kind of took that advantage and was able to hold on to it just by, you know, good scouting, making sure I wasn't allowing his drops to do any sort of major damage other than my fourth, which he was able to do, like, good damage to twice. Mm -hmm. But I kind of made up for it in the army battles because I just, um, I, I don't know, I, when he was engaging without proper scouting, and so I kind of took advantage of it. I was able to catch him off guard twice, uh, once at the Zelnaga Watchtower, and once, like, right outside my natural as well. And so those two major battles kind of decided the game, uh, for, to my knowledge. Right. I think that's what it was. But he did a very good job of denying my fourth, and so that's what kind of kept the game very close. So my biggest mistake was definitely that fourth base. All in the fourth a mistake. It's hard to say that though, because it's so you know it's so dangerous. Yeah, it, it's really hard to defend. But I needed proper overlord scouting, and I adjusted that later on. If you notice, but um, I, I shouldn't allow that to happen. And one thing that I'm, I need to get better about is uh, splitting units. 
to deal with those three pronged attacks. Yeah. Because it's really hard to kind of measure out your units and you know send the specific amount of unit that can just barely deal with you know each specific attack. Just because generally Zerg units need to kind need numbers really to kind of to overrun attacks. So you really want to use the Mutalist mainly to deal with the drops. And then use your Ling Baneling to kind of defend the major attacks through the middle. Cool. Yep. All right. So uh, Poke has uh, has to play in a tournament. So I'm going to bring in another Terran. Okay. And luckily, I've got a lot of guys online tonight because on Tuesday we just did not have this kind of uh, freedom. Oh really? <laughs> To bring in precious partners. Was that with Jake? Uh, on Tuesday, rather. That was with Jeff. So Jake will be on oh, tomorrow, oh, okay. and uh, he's going to actually take it from the from the Terran point of view. That'll be good. We we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, folks right. on the stream are telling me that I never get enough mutas. So, um, how do you sort of balance your mutas with your banelings? Honestly, I'm spending about 90% of my resources on Mutalisks. Um, the, that's the reason kind of why I decide not to morph Banelings until their attacks start to kind of pressure me. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole point of getting the Spire attack is so you gain map control for an instance, and that's what's going to give you your, free, your freedom to go ahead, secure your third, uh, secure your fourth later on, and deal with those drops. And at the same time, Mutalisks also force uh, stack defense uh, forces them to play, you know, extremely passive. Once again, just the the uh, map control, and so I'm spending about at least 90% of my Vespian uh, just on Mutalis, and then waiting for them to actually start moving out, and that's when I'm going to go ahead and morph my Banelings. That's why scouting is so important as well if you're going to yeah. uh, choose to do that. But eventually, you can't just like wait until they're maxed and then moving out towards your base to right. morph banelings. So you want to start stockpiling banelings, but no more than like 20 or so, or so I'd say, like mid or late game. All right, so we're spotting him right away. He saw my overlord, so I'm just going to show him. Now, at what point do I need to pull back? Because I'm afraid of losing that overlord. Uh, once you scout that second barracks, like honestly, you can wait until the barracks is complete and then pull it back, and it'll still get out of there by the time the marine uh, gets out and actually starts chasing it. All right. Now here's a question. I have noticed in, um, in basically every game you play, you, mm -hmm. um, you're quite late with your, uh, with your melee upgrades, or I should say you're, you're upgrading your ground army. Like yeah. So this is only one rack. So. Yeah, you want to move just to the edge of it, though, so oh, you can just far? barely... No, no, no. No, like back towards your main. Okay. Here. Just looking at your view, um, you want to just barely be able to see that barracks yeah like right about there and that's when you know it's safe to just go ahead and run away like you can wait till it finishes and then run away if you're like on top of the barracks you uh, can't do it gotcha gotcha okay. so we're gonna keep him chugging along because I'm feeling alright pool so, yeah. so to, so to kind of come back barracks. to the, uh, the upgrade question sorry um, no problem. but I'm, I'm really curious when do you start upgrading your ground army there's the second barracks yeah, um, I start upgrading as I secure the Vespian Geysers at my third because I feel that you don't have enough Vespian uh, split between the two bases to make the uh, Mutalis, the Banelings that you need uh, in order to kind of defend yourself and defend your third base at that point. If you were to get your Evolution Chambers too quickly, uh, you know, you'd, you'd have obviously like just a lower Mutalis count wouldn't be able to hold it. <coughs> and Upgrades are more meant for timing attacks, like not really so much like defending. Um, so there's just no need to early on. Yeah, spine crawlers. Generally, I, yeah, I place them to the side like that just in case they do morph that bunker, so to make sure they they spawn out of range of the bunker. Mm -hmm. right. You want to make about eight zerglings, only against two racks opening. Now, let me, let's come out of upgrades one more time, just because uh, I, I, I hear so many differing opinions on them. Um, mm -hmm. So, I, I, now is a good time to get my gas. Um, so, obviously, we know that uh, that the plus one carapace makes lings much better against siege tanks. Yeah. Um, so, y you're, you're saying to me, basically, that you, you just don't really sweat that sort of thing? You're, you're relying uh, on I'm your other stuff to get you through that stage of the game? 
I shouldn't have to deal with siege tanks at that point in the game because my mutilists should have map control and if they do move out at that point they're only going to have about three or four siege tanks at most mm -hmm. and really when you want that armor uh, it's going to be more for when you know they have their like seven eight siege tank uh, pushes and because you can kind of deal with four siege tanks like almost no problem with just your Ling Bane, Ling Muta but once it's really once they kind of get those numbers that you know the siege tanks get their power like exponentially pretty much alright so I'm not seeing anything out of him and I'm kinda nervous because I'm feeling very blind yep well the first key you want to look for is expansion if he pulls back like that you should always think expansion nope tech vibe uh, is tech different uh, I don't know. I get. I'm gonna send this overload. Yeah. It's 36 supply. That's the right time in it. Yep. All right. Go ahead and start that zergling speed. Take your second Vespin geyser. Okay. And we just got a starport. So looks and like factory, and, and a Hellion and a reactor. And a reactor. I'm assuming just by seeing this that it's a Hellion drop. So leave one zergling as expansion. Pull the rest back. Uh, keep droning and go ahead and position one of those spots right, you don't let that circle, yeah put another one there <coughs> you can actually take one of these spine crawlers and put it in the mineral line in your main go ahead and start mining that second Vespian geyser and you're going to do another round of drones here and then after this you're going to make a round of zerglings just to defend because the dropship would probably be done about then Go ahead and start your baneling nest. Looks like he's coming from the front, maybe? Yeah, I guess so. It's kind of odd. It's really late. Alright, so zerglings. Yeah. Place uh, another zergling at that Zelmaga watchtower. You always want to try and keep it if you possibly can. Alright, go ahead and just take both the Vespian geysers at your natural a little bit early. Just keep up Zergling production at this point. Just to until you actually scout an expansion. So send one Zergling and queue it all the way around the map and then into his expansion. Do you really need to know if he has that or not? Okay, go ahead and start your uh, Spire. And you have pretty... Uh, no, not... Not until after your mutilists. Okay, yeah, that's right. You, you said you get it much later. So I'm making drones right now. Is that okay? Yep, drone. Yeah, pure drones. You have sizable enough amount of zerglings to go ahead and start droning again. And Hellions again. Uh, this is, is this Hellion Marauder? Is that what I'm seeing? Pull back. Go ahead and morph Banelings because he could be attacking right now. Like obviously he's trying to hide something from you. Send another zergling in. Alright. Okay, well, go ahead and take your third. And. So okay, so it is, is a really late explosion. Yeah. Flame, right? I, does it mean uh, I have a roach one? If you see blue flame, yeah. I didn't. I wasn't. <laughs> I didn't see blue flame, but. I guess I could just look. Nope, it's not blue flame. Uh, well, I'm making a roach one anyway. Alright. <laughs> All right, so Spire is about to finish. Uh, all my yep. gas on mutas, and then everything else on drones. Yep. Go ahead and retake the Zolnaga watchtowers. And if it's just three Hellions, you gotta That's just kill them. It's a really late banshee. Somebody has a cloak. Banshee might just be there to delay your third. Oh. Go ahead and kill the Banshee and then counter his main with the Mutalus. Go ahead and start centrifuge hooks and get plus one air attack. Send that queen to your third. And retake that Zolnaga watchtower. And then transfer drones from your main natural to your third and take both the Vespian geysers there. That third queen's like sitting in your main.